Welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to have a look at the KD14 against the KD15. Not necessarily a comparison, but definitely discuss the features and how it's translated across. Um, and these, the KD15's uh, Psychic Purple, they just arrived today and I already had a couple of pairs of the 14's and I was waiting on this colourway specifically. I thought it was the pick of the bunch so far. Uh, I had to have a little kind of look at them and do a video based on my thoughts really. Uh, so yeah, we'll get straight into the video. So to start off with, uh, the box, I'll get some close-ups for you here if you can't see it. But it's basically a paisley pattern, which is real nice. Nice little detail in there. Uh, and it's all the way around the box. So again, sometimes they just get a plain black box. But this one, nice bit of detail. Nice little finish on it as well. When you open the box up, easy money. KD, he's got his own kind of vibe going on, shall we say. Um, he's a, a man of few words on Twitter. Some might disagree, uh, but in regards to his style and how he conducts himself on the court, yeah, he's, he's got a he's got a specific vibe he's going for, and I believe that with this kind of graphic design element on the box, it speaks volumes for who he is. Um, so the shoe itself, the psychic purple. Um, like I say, I was, this was the, the colourway I was really waiting on. I did, however, order the numbers colourway, which is the kind of navy, and I also ordered the kind of peachy colourway, as you're not sure what that one was called. Um, and this one, I just, for, just because of the, the craziness of the colour palette, um, how vibrant it is, it kind of reminded me of the Nerf colourway from the previous KD models. And that's what stood out for me the most. So that one there was the pick of the bunch. And uh, this one here, the KD14, um, this was one of the more cleaner colourways. Um, and that was for me the the one that I, I started off with colour-wise. Um, I did go with the Ron English um, colourway. Uh, I know there was a second one, I wasn't a big fan of this, but this one here. Um, I like this kind of vibrant red, uh, kind of pink colour, and it's a bit crazy this light bulb on, on the strap, but I, I don't know man, there was just something about it, I thought, do you know what, like, I'm, I'm, I'm digging it, I thought, yeah, I'm definitely going to get my hands on them, uh, we're in summer, well, Scottish summer, <laughs> but ultimately, being able to have a pair like this, um, just something that would be a bit wild, uh, I like the design of it, so I went with that. But I'm going to focus on the whole colourway. Uh, I don't want any blinges with the, the rear shoe. Uh, so basically, to start off with, when the 14 came out, straight away it had that broken in feel right out of the box. That was the big thing. Uh, and the cushion tooling setup they had on this was fantastic. I believe it started off with the 12 with the air strobo and they carried it right through to the 15. Now, I did try on the 12 and I it felt nice, wasn't a huge fan. I did have, uh, I did try on the 13, sorry. It felt very clunky, similar to what the 11 did. And I didn't like that either. So when this came out, this was really refreshing because it felt very lightweight. It felt, felt comfortable, pretty much. Not just in the, the tooling aspect, but the, the midsole setup, the cushion or the air strobo it was more about the uppers it felt very minimalistic but you did get that lockdown but it wasn't like an aggressive lockdown it just it was just like you're okay you know it just had that very a very satisfying feel overall so the thing about this shoe that again was a nice touch was kevin durant he's also known as a slim reaper but this strap here is the design that's inspired by a scythe or was carried by the the Grim Reaper himself and when you put the shoe on it's nice it's, it's not again it's not overly aggressive but when you combine that with the overall feel of the shoe and how the air strobo works it, um, it feels very very nice now when you take the insole out which I've got to need to rip it out here I think yeah you can obviously see the air strobo I'll get some close-up for you in that you can see the air strobo in there and it's a full lens zoom unit and there is a lot of glue on there right now this is my concern and one of the drawbacks of the 15 and i'll get to that later on but it feels very very nice you've got like this kind of styrofoam 
set up on the insole, which doesn't really make too much of a difference if I'm honest. It does feel nice on foot. But overall, my thoughts of the 14 was it was a very good performer, traction was great. Cushlon midsole was very comfortable, combine that with the Ostrobo. Lightweight, good lockdown, very good performer overall, extremely good shoe. Now, this then set the table for the 15, because you could see that if we go back to the, I've got them down here. If we go back to the KV9, right? The KD9, when that came out, was a step in this new direction that the KD, like, was a Neil Chang, was the designer? Uh, he basically put the full lens zoom unit in underneath the midsole. And it was innovative, comfortable, lightweight, performed well. There was issues where uh, people were complaining that this little area here was bursting and then it deflated the bag. Um, be a bit difficult to get your foot in there first. It had its own drawbacks. They then moved on to the KD10. The KD10 was another great shoe in terms of this kind of midsole full lens zoom your airbag. However, because this shoe, the 9, offered better lockdown stability, the 10 didn't. The 10 for me felt very loose, felt almost like a slipper. Your foot was moving around quite a lot, very little lateral containment. The knit wasn't as secure as this, so although this might have been tight fitting to get your foot in and you might have had to go up half a size, it definitely had its benefits for a lockdown around the ankle area. 10 was the opposite. So anyway, they then moved away from that. As I said earlier, they were going to the struggle. And this was the standard as far as I was concerned because they really hit it home with the 14. When the 15 was announced, it's got the air strobo unit in there again. So you knew from the 14 that it was going to be a great setup with the midsole and stuff. Still cushion on. The traction, when we're looking at the traction, you've got this kind of close-up for you again in this, but you've got these little perforations all over the place to help with kind of compression. It's really minimal in regards to how much has been taken out, so I don't think it's anything to do with weight. I think it's more to do with the compression of the cushion. You've got this shank in the middle to help obviously torsional stability but then when you move up to the uppers the breathability aspect the lightweight aspect this tpu on the mid uh, the lateral side and the medial side for pulling the shoe over for lockdown combine that with the lace loops that are actually in the material itself is a nice combination i'll get close-ups of this again but when you get to the lace loops that on the actual material, there's actually been reinforced stitching around the, around the eyelet, sorry, and that's a nice touch. They, they have went to a great amount of detail, so much so that on the tongue of the psychic purple, I, I don't recall this on the other ones unfortunately, but on this one specifically, the material, the, this mesh they've got over the tongue, when you move the tongue, <laughs> the, the, the material underneath the mesh looks as if it's moving. And it's quite a, a strange kind of illusion. It's almost like one of the uh, scratch hologram pictures that you move side to side. It's quite a nice uh, touch. Everything's there. It's very comfortable. Traction is really good. The lockdown is okay in the forefoot. A wee bit of heel slippage, nothing crazy, but there is a wee bit there. On the back, there's a heel tab, it's got Easy, which is the same brand and it's on the box, it's all stitched in there, nice touch again. You've got number 7 on the back, which may change if he's going to get traded, but it says quality inspired by Kevin Durant. Now Kevin Durant had one of the, has got one of the best Nike lines at the moment, but his price range has steadily increased ever so slightly over the years, so you've got to tip your hat when it comes to the target audience that KD is trying to um, hit. So yeah, that's um, that's a nice kind of ethos to have, shall we say. Now, the drawback. <laughs> the air strobo unit, full length air strobo, sorry, is a uh, plastic. And what they've done is, they've glued the insole <laughs> down onto the airbag. Now, on this, doesn't make any difference okay but on this when you've got this on foot 
I'll play the video in a wee second, but you'll, you'll understand my concern when you put this on and tighten the laces, this is what you hear. There is a ton of glue on the underside of the insole, and when that sticks onto the airbag itself, it doesn't bond. Now, it, for some reason, you don't hear it in the 14. I don't know if it's because the midsole and the cushion is a little bit stiffer on this model compared to the 14. I'm not entirely sure, but it's so fucking annoying that every step you take is just so it's one thing having squeaky shoes but if you've got shoes that make that kind of noise on every single step it sounds like you've got wet feet and it's not cool at all so i'm going to try and get all the glue off the uh, the insoles and the top of the airbag to try and eradicate this i will let you know how i get on with that uh, i don't want to ruin the insole but being a joiner, um, I'm able to have the luxury of knowing these wee hints and tips for things. And I think possibly, if you have mitophas glue, you get a, a, a spray to activate the actual the glue itself. I think the spray might strip the glue off the insole. I'm going to give it a try. I'll let you know how I got on with that. And if it works, then definitely go down that road. And then that way you've still got the original insoles. It might be a case of taking these insoles out and just keeping them with the box, but putting a new set of insoles in there just to kind of eliminate the glue and the noise aspect. It's annoying, but if it's a way around of not having that noise, then yeah, it's it's one of the things. Um, my thought of the shoe, aside of that, really nice, really nice shoe. Uh, not just to look at, but in terms of how it feels on foot. I, I was saying about the numbers colourway and the peach colourway I did buy just to see what they were like before this one was released. Um, the one thing that did stand out, this is it, it's, it, it feels different. It's a, it feels like a totally different basketball shoe compared to the 14. It's lower, so you've not got that kind of mid kind of cut. It's also, it feels when you've actually got the laces undone, put your foot in to start off with, it feels wide, you know, and how the silhouette of the shoe, it reminds me of a skate shoe. And that is something that I find quite interesting because it's not very often we get basketball shoes that remind us of skate shoes. Reason being, uh, it, it was actually the opposite way around. So the Nike Dunk was actually inspired by the Air Jordan 1 and then it basically just kind of took off from there. But for me, for some reason, when you have these on your feet, I, I, I don't know if it's to do with the, just the silhouette of the shoe or how flat the outsole is. I mean, there is a little bit of a heel to toe transition there, but it's not anything that's like crazy curved at the front. But how the shoe looks, it, it, it kind of has that general feel, in my opinion anyway. And it's not a bad thing, it's different. But man, these colours, they just pop like that purple against this kind of glow-in-the-dark green. It's nice, man. Really, really nice. There, is a, there was a community colourway that came out as well that's pretty much sold out on Nike.com. The build quality in this is nice. So you feel like you're going to get what you pay for this shoe. So, top marks for the KD14. Just shy of top marks in the KD15 in terms of how the, the shoe feels on foot. A little bit of slippage in the back there. The tacky wet sound from the insole. Apart from that, yeah, it's a it's a it's a winner in my book. And uh, KD's line is one of the best that Nike has to offer at the moment. He's um, possibly probably going to get traded this season. Brooklyn might keep him, but. The thing to watch out for is the these number changes, so therefore the shoes will probably change as well. So um, if you're thinking about getting a pair, then there is a couple of colours to choose from on Nike.com. Um, but yeah, definitely snap it up if you can, and if you can get any of these, 
definitely get the 14. It's a, it's a great performer as well. If you've not done so already, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you liked the video, and leave any comments down below. I'm trying to grow this channel and making sure I'm getting back to people ASAP. I'm going to be making more content, like I say, shortly. So until then, 